In this video, I want to talk about Chapter 7 bankruptcy and what's going to happen to the car when that Chapter 7 bankruptcy case is filed. Hi, I'm Scott Allen, an attorney in Alabama, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for checking it out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Well, recently, Firestick Amazon had posted a really good question or a good comment on the YouTube channel that sparked this topic of this video, and I thought I would talk about his comment and go from there. I thought it was something that pops up quite a bit. And so, Firestick Amazon says, I just filed for Chapter 7. I live in Massachusetts. The balance of the car loan is about $1,800. The loan is current, and the car is worth about $2,000. What is going to happen to my car? Anything helps? Thanks. I thought that was a really good question. And first off, please don't consider this. This is not legal advice. And anyone considering filing bankruptcy should reach out to a lawyer in their area to get some bankruptcy specific related advice. But I'll talk in, in general terms of this type of situation of how we would approach it here in Alabama. In Alabama, we have state exemptions that are applicable in these type of situations and we can protect up to or a debtor can protect up to $7,500 in assets such as a car that could be protected from being liquidated or sold. And so knowing your state specific exemptions is very important, whether you're using federal exemptions or state exemptions. But in this situation, it looks like there's about a car that's valued around $2,000. There's an $1,800 loan. So we're looking at about $200 in equity. In Alabama, since we have a $7,500 exemption amount that would be applicable here, depending on what other assets there were, it would be likely that we could protect the equity in this car. So that's the first thing we'll look at is how much equity is in the car. If we're not worried about a Chapter 7 trustee liquidating the vehicle, then that's the first analysis. The second analysis is we're looking at is are the car payments behind because Chapter 7 bankruptcy is not going to allow for a restructure of the car loan. But in this situation, the car loan is current. And in situations when the car loan is current, my clients have to make a determination. Do they want to reaffirm the debt, meaning they sign a new agreement where the debt survives bankruptcy? Or do they want to try to work out some situation where the lender just continues to accept payments and they don't sign a reaffirmation agreement, sort of retain and pay. Each jurisdiction, each creditor handle those situations a little bit different. So amongst other things, those are the main two things that, that we're looking at or I'm looking at when assessing a situation as far as someone, there'll be issues with the car moving forward. If you're in Alabama, you're considering filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy and you want to know what your options are if you're going to have issues with your car, you know, click on the link below, schedule a free consultation, be glad to help you if I can. Until next time.